Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tyler Trani, and welcome to Quantum Conundrum. It's been a long time coming, considering that this game was <laughs> released in 2012. Though, I, I'm pretty sure when I started playing it, it was not 2012. I, I think there are parts that existed on... Um, this channel before they don't exist anymore this is this is the video now this this is we're starting back from the beginning <laughs> so <clears throat> so anyway like uh like ni nice little puzzle game where we're gonna start a new game continue game no no i mean we're starting a new game so so like a new game will delete your save progress and all previous state yeah yeah, I know. I know. I don't care. <clears throat> Once upon a time. That's how these things usually start, yeah? They do, yes. A sister took pity on her brilliant, prolific, and incredible brother. She had somehow gotten it in her head that he might be lonely, or at least that's what she claims. And so, on a perfectly fine, productive Friday afternoon, the sister picked up her son from the Elwood Academy for Boys and dropped the aggravating child off on my, uh, the, the brother's doorstep. Now you, I mean, the boy, had uh -huh. visited Quadrangle Manor on a few occasions. Each time was complete with a grand <laughs> entrance from the brother, who was in fact a professor and inventor with a profound and soaring intellect. With each visit, the inventions he exhibited became more slick and cutting edge. Impressive. Impressive. The boy eagerly awaited the revealing of the professor's latest contrivance, but this, the most captivating of visits, started a bit differently. Loading dimensions. Well, let's see here. If I configure the trans-dimensional velocity regulator at approximately 0 0.887 microseconds past the... Oh, you're here? I have the most incredible invention to show you this visit. Unfortunately, I'm a bit <laughs> indisposed at the moment. If you take your luggage into the foyer, I will join you as soon as I can. Hmm. I kind of did this. This commentary is definitely going to have a bit of a, shall we say, uh, Admiration for the environment and uh, whatever. Um, okay. The foyer. The foyer. Is this the foyer? I forgot what the foyer is. <coughs> oh, hey. I want to see what's on this book. Great Exponen... Ex... Exponen... Exponential exponent exponential. Sorry. I mean, I guess commentary for like the first room. I kind of like how basically the room looks kind of odd, but that's mainly because like the base goes in in every direction and kind of like squishes upward causing the room to be like very tall very alien oh, you confounded machine oh. what was that <clears throat> is this a foyer it's this book Oi. I want to see the covers <laughs> the Wizard of Osmium. Osmium? Oz. Oh, good. That should be a safety release for the door up there somewhere. Now, where on earth did I put that? Wow. Wow. 
Okay, I'm just a little too small. Oh, yes, I'd forgotten. You're not particularly tall, are you? You should be so able true. to use your luggage to give you an extra boost. That's what I assumed, yes. Thank you. <laughs> also, why are we in low gravity in this place? Uncle, what have you done? Wait a minute. Something isn't quite right here. Oh, no, 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 no! Ah! You blew I'm not entirely sure where I am right now. You blew up my luggage. The security uplink on my watch still seems to work, so I can see you and Hello, you you, you can hear me, right? Jump around a bit if you can. Ah it seems as if I can still tap into the intercom system. Well, I most certainly can do better than this. Testing, 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 testing There. Ha. Huh. Much better. Now, what in the world are you doing here? <clears throat> Were you supposed to be here today? No matter. Well, judging from the current underwhelming amount of light in this room, we're still on backup power. Yeah. My head is killing me. It seems as though I now possess a rather large epidural hematoma. What? Bump on the head. Oh. Do me and yourself a favor and head to the front hall. There's a way to restart the power grid. But, but but what if I just want to enjoy all, all of the, all of the assets here? Come on, Uncle. The red balloon. Uh -huh. Yeah. <coughs> Do we have books here? I can grab them. Pretty sure I've seen them though. Star shift, star shift trooper. <clears throat> Ow. The wait. Okay, so these types of books that are wrapped in a belt don't have a cover, but the individual books do have a cover. <clears throat> sorry, sorry, coming, coming. Oof, yeah, poor armor. Last I remember, I was in the new technology sector, and then... I don't know. Really? You don't I know? I do think the failsafe was tripped accidentally. Unfortunately, the front door will remain in lockdown until you can <coughs> restore the power. Henry VIII. Manfield's Paul, Manfield Pulsar again. Okay. I see. Man... Really? Wait. Manfield Pulsar... And these, most likely, same issue. Like, it's literally just the same thing as the smaller one. The Call of the Wild by... by no... by no... Meal, binomial. The call of the wild binomial. Uh, 
<coughs> if you head over to my office over on the left, you should be able to restart the manor's power grid. Have I played this when, I, uh, when it was released? Part of me kind of remembers vaguely playing the demo. So, I might have actually seen it. Prime... Ah. Prime and Probabilities. Yeah. Pride and Prejudice? Yeah, this one again. Throw that switch there. It should be the one. Oh yeah, select le level selector. This one. Well, that wasn't as effective as I'd hoped. You'll have to reactivate the generators in each sector in order to lift the current lockdown. Just uh, <coughs> take the glove in the box with you. I wish you could see my facial expression right now, as I am not pleased. Imagine being a kid and able to raise all of these books at once. Like how? I mean, I know I know they're books, but <laughs> the fact that I'm able to what you are lift them up is, an early is kind of impressive. Of the interdimensional ship device, or IDS device for short. Okay. It's one piece of my latest invention that should come in handy. Get it? You know, because it's a glove. Yeah. <laughs> Uncle, I didn't know you uh, were with child. I'm being stalked from uh, <clears throat> the room. Okay. <clears throat> I'm assuming we have to go... If you can access the generator at the back of each wing, we might be able to lift the lockdown on the rest of the house. Okay. It seems as if the breaker did unlock the blue wing. Well, I suppose you should start there first. This is a blue wing, right? Yeah. But, like... <clears throat> I... There's something so strange and so, uh interesting about how they've built this place but yeah like right cows I forgot where though but like the light leads you here with like the sparks leading you here They're like back in the day back in the uh, olden uh, 2012 they didn't need yellow paint to place There's something everywhere. I must tell you. My latest invention has required me to make a few uh, adjustments to the house since the last time you barged in. Okay. Uh, I mean, visited. Mm-hmm. <coughs> sure. Don't mind me. Call it Cthulhu. Not really, but... Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. How many copies do you have of every book? Like by the end of this let's play, I'm gonna be able to like, uh, like count. It. Like, oh yeah, this is the individual books now, one of that the they've created. That our family has been studying for several generations are rifts existing okay. between various dimensions. Mm -hmm. I've been able to develop a power source that will channel enough energy into one of these dimensional rifts that it can be wide <coughs> enough to travel through. The two inventions that we saw in the uh, in a little story time segment. The glove controls the power source, which allows you to travel to whichever dimension has rifts in the area. Yeah. Hmm. No, no. <clears throat> Here. Much better. The watts. Okay. 
It was a little too dark for me to actually read properly. <clears throat> Is there a <laughs> Oh, that's a new one. Oh, ratio horn blower. Horn, horn. Yeah, the blow. Blower? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Moby Dicrom. Dicromate. Okay. Oh my gosh, dude. This is where all the, the original books are hiding, aren't they? Through this looking spectrometer. Time Lord of the Ring. Beyond fluffy and heavy. <clears throat> This one looks like... This one looks similar. Uh, War of the Parallel Worlds. Oh, wow. Oh, now we have some... Uh, like, the books before were... Uh, okay, this one is the same. I'm assuming this one is also the same, because the site is similar. Yeah. Two copies of the same book right next to each other. This one, pretty sure, yeah. Or the parallel worlds. I'm so sorry, Uncle. <clears throat> man, the man with the iron mask. Like a lot of these are like puns. Okay, the Moby one. No, 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 no. Wait, what? Really? Well, anyway, it's a uh, man with the iron mask. I recognize the cover. I can't grab them. I guess they're really stuck, stuck in there. <coughs> the looking spectrometer. I'm so sorry. Alright. We want... Some of these books are uh, just holding on to dear life. <clears throat> anyway. That's all of the accessible books. You won't have control over the ability to switch dimensions yet. Okay. Just be patient. This door is using one of my inventions, the repetitive, periodic, articulating gruy day. Or a drinking bird. Except it's far more advanced. Okay. Yeah, that's how I figured. I'm gonna need you. Oh. There. It's also using the yellow substance. Okay. <clears throat> uh, well, 
because your glove is an early prototype, it has a few limitations in terms of dimension accessibility and the distance it can be from a receptacle in order to function. You'll see what I mean okay. eventually. Wait. Is these, fr are these, no. I mean, c kind of. Mm. Sorry. The frames do li look straight, but the walls are actually curved. So. Shift is prescriptive. If I look kind of strange right now, doing whatever, like looking at books, like obsessively and looking at the environment, is mainly because I've actually been uh, building a uh, library of assets, modular assets, and I figured, I figured that <clears throat> as someone who kind of enjoys like building those assets, I might, might, if you allow me a bit of, uh, you know, taking my channel to do a, a bit of that while doing Let's Plays, you know, admiring the environment building of this, mainly, you know, asking questions of, did they actually build a modular S? <laughs> like, I feel like, yeah, there's definitely some modular pieces, but part of me kind of almost wonders how, like especially because, have you noticed throughout like me walking through the corridors? Some of those corridors are very like with dimensional shifting. So I decided to have it triggered remotely strange. with the drinking bird. Instead of operating a door, the bird will trigger a dimensional shift. Okay. Why would you do that? There's an IDS battery in the machine that will power the dimensions. Which in this case is Fluffy Dimension. In addition to Fluffy being embarrassingly adorable, it's also mm -hmm. rather useful because everything is ten times lighter than normal. I guess light also exists in Fluffy Dimension. It's like everything has like yeah everything has like a fluffy like counterpart fluffy costume am i wearing such a fluffy costume right now but the device still looks the same and the device contains yellow liquid like everything else that uses the, uh, the dimensional shift. <clears throat> I, I do find it kind of funny that it seems like they've designed a completely Though that looks like a regular oh, no. scale, it is in fact what a portable kinetic mass to electricity converter. Okay. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Atlas. Shifted. I feel like I know the title, the original title of that book. The Court of Monte Cristo. Yeah. <laughs> This one. 
Yeah, okay. That's all of them. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, don't mind me. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Like, there are certain, like, modular pieces. But, like, pieces that I definitely feel like, yeah, I can definitely see a modular, like, modular chair. Well, modular. Like, having a bunch of chairs, like, uh, like, frames that are stylized. But, like, for the environment, like, it seems a little more complex. You have two copies of the same book here. Well, act. They're all, uh... Oh? Really? Wait. No. Huh. Okay, so this book and this book share the same basic cover, but with a different front. Alright. <clears throat> I mean, I, I... I guess a particular obsession with, like, that books. that lovely bird again. Sometimes I call him Desmond. Alright, Desmond. Something to note. Since you're holding a version of the IDS device, yep. you, in fact, are not the you in an alternate dimension. L let me try that again. You remain constant. So no matter the dimension, <coughs> your mass, shape, speed, and trying personality remain the same. Okay. Which means that if someone else were to... For example, wear the device while I'm in the room, and they shift to a fluffy dimension. The me in front of them would also shift to fluffy dimension me, who may or may not be wearing a fluffy chicken costume, or I mean, a fl any fluffy, fluffy cuss. Oh, it's like, why are you so heavy? Okay. Uh... So I only need one. I'm pretty sure. Then grab it? Yes, okay. What was that? What was that? <coughs> you should throw that IDS battery into the receptacle mounted on the wall. Receptacle is uh... oh oh over there yeah. That receptacle will distribute the power source around the room, allowing you to now use your IDS device to switch dimensions at your leisure. Okay. Atlas Shru Shrug? Shrud? 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 Hitchhiker's Guide to Dimensions. Oh, yeah. I am enjoying the book covers a lot because they're all thematic. They're all like. like punny. Uh, versions of uh, real books. 
I know, stating the obvious. <laughs> I am literally stating the obvious. Oh, they're, they're parodies of real books. Really. Oh, this one is new. David Cooper Field Theory. Huh. Interesting. I wasn't expecting to see a new book. Okay. As I mentioned, dimensional rifts in the manor are magnified by the stabilizing energy from the IDS receptacle and batteries. Yeah. Pulsar. You can continue talking, you know. The one that may or may not be Call of Cthulhu. There's probably another This book. is what enables you to slip between dimensions when you're wearing the IDS glove. Okay. Ah, that's Dolly. Dynamic Object Linear Ligation Interface. To you, a cloning device. I like my house just so. So I decided to add functionality to her to keep everything consistent. 